Welcome back, everybody. Today's show is all about chili. So if you're looking for some new, different recipes to make chili or some different ways to use it, um, keep watching because we are jam-packed full of ideas, uh, new chili recipes and ideas on ways to use it. Carlin is here from the Weiler Academy, a wonderful place, very special place in the Green Bay area, which is all about wellness, uh, mind, body, spirit, all of it, and healthy mm -hmm. eating too. Yes, exactly. And chili, for the most part, a lot of chili is actually very healthy, very good for you. Mm -hmm. It is, It's it's got everything in it that, the, it's fresh, it's great, tomatoes, beans, a lot of protein, so it's a great dish. And we're making something you call reindeer chili. Yes. Um, why are we calling it that? Um, because it can be made with venison and um, or game, any kind of game. So we have to spice it a little different okay. um, just to make it more flavorful. Could um, you also just use ground beef if yes, you didn't have you venison? Can. You but can. Uh, there's a lot of times, a lot of people have you know ground venison yeah. in, the, in their yeah. freezer and this is a great way to use it and we're gonna yeah exactly. show you some different ways and, to and ground beef works really good with the spices too okay so um, either way if you have venison or ground beef yeah. now what 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 did we just do okay, there this is a, a salt and um, pepper mix that I just I just mix them together and then um, just mix them together and then I chop it in with the venison it's important to get the spice into the meat before you cook it That's so a good I kind of just take it and and do that to it, so it's kind of into the ground the spice, yeah. ground venison. Mm -hmm. uh, so really can get in yeah. the salt and pepper in there because a lot of people say venison can be gamey. So exactly. this is kind of helps with that. Yeah. Over here we've got a bunch of onion and butter, and at home you really want to take the time to caramelize it. I don't know if we're going to have time to do it mm. here, but maybe about 30 minutes until the low and exactly. slow until the onions really start to look like caramel. Exactly. So and they get really incredibly sweet. So mm -hmm. uh, how long take the time to do that? We're going to kind of move these around a little bit. Move it. And with beef it's not as important, but with the venison it is because it, that sweet flavor helps take that gamey taste out of any game. I've made this with bison and elk and it's just as good as venison. It's just a great thing for this time of year because hunting season is coming. Yep. Right? <laughs> Yeah, so then, I'm gonna get this out of the We've way. We've got some celery. Yeah, we're gonna get some celery going. So you want the meat to brown. So at home, another 10 minutes or so. Yeah, just so it's nice and, and brown. And it's really fun, because with the venison, I always do it in 20 minute increments, everything 20 minutes. Got You're it, just, so like the onions, 20 minutes. Yeah, the, everything. The, the venison, 20 minutes. Yeah. So it's actually a really fast thing to make. I mean, in an hour, you, you know, you have a really great. You can also brown everything and then put it in a crock pot and let it sit all day. And then the longer you cook this, the better it is because of the cloves that we're going to put in Ooh. to add the change. So Ooh. with the game, you need to have some kind of spice to cut that taste down. OK. So we're going to use cloves. So in goes some. So as soon as it's brown. I actually really enjoy celery in chili. Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of cooks down quite a bit, yeah. so you don't really you know it's there, but I like it. Yeah, it kind of takes that that taste out too. Okay. Okay. And then when that's all mixed up. So at home again, this would be uh, the beef for the venison would be cooked all the way through, and the yeah. celery would be you know a good exactly. 20 minutes. But we're going to move things along yeah. here. And then we're going to add the wine. And the wine is going, and then you, again, you'd cook 20 minutes. Um, dry red wine. Yep, just a dry red wine. Okay. Nothing sweet, just a, a red, a red table wine. And you know what? Throwing a little bit of your wine and chili is really a way to pump up the flavor. The mm -hmm. alcohol cooks off, but you're really yep. left with some great flavor. And here you want to reduce it so that the wine is completely gone. Okay. I mean, you want it, and that's another 20 minutes. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay. So when that happens, when it's reduced, mm -hmm. which we won't have time for now, mm -hmm. then the cloves come. And I always do for sure six, can even be more, depending okay. on your taste. So okay. Ooh, six that's cloves. really unique in there. I can yeah. already smell that already. It's some, uh -huh. something that you probably don't use very often, but no. mm, it smells great. It just great. adds a great flavor mm -hmm. into it. And then again, 20 minutes. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're going to add the tomatoes, the peeled tomatoes. So a one um, can of whole tomatoes yeah. with so, the juice. And I, at home I always take a potato masher mm -hmm. and I just kind of squish them all up to, and that breaks down the celery too and it just kind of makes it a little softer. I okay. don't know, it just okay. makes the flavor better. Got it. Okay. So Now again, here's where we got some interesting 20 spices. 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, so now, which is different for chili, bay leaf. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna add two bay leaf. All right. Um, 
And then, of course, the chili powder. A good quality chili yeah. powder. Very good quality. Because it is not all created equal. Let me tell no, you, that's not that's the time not to go get the El Cheapo stuff. No. Uh, get a good quality. <laughs> that's true. Mm. And that, that's going to be um, important, and it's three tablespoons. It's three tablespoons to six cloves. So if you're, you're always doubling. So if you have eight cloves, you're going to use four tablespoons. Okay. And that's the ratio okay. that you use. Good point. Okay, so depending on how much chili you're making. Oh, this smells that's a good amazing. Way to so let this simmer for another 20 minutes or so. Always 20 minutes. And then minutes. the beans go in last. You yep. don't want to put the beans in at the exactly. beginning. And that goes for almost any chili. Mm -hmm. uh, because they break down and turn to nothing. And we want some exactly. texture in there. So. Yeah, so as soon as that's cooking up really good, then... Then we'd add the beans. And you got two cans of beans. Yes, I have um, red kidney beans and black beans. And the black beans are really great with the cloves. So it, it, it works really well. It's just a great mix. And I actually really love beans and chili because it does bulk things up, you know, mm -hmm. um, it creates more fiber. And I love using a few different types of beans. It creates some interest. So yep. pinto beans, black beans, red kidney yep. beans, you know. Anything you want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Lima so beans, anything. Yeah. Yeah, really so here good. they are, here we are, and it's a very thick chili mm -hmm. after it's simmered. And you can see it's really all about that venison. And the reason why it's thick, you can always thin it. Mm -hmm. So um, I make it at home, I'll, and it was too hard to do it here, but you can make a bread bowl. Or you can yeah. buy a bread bowl sure. and put it, if it's dry like this, in a bread bowl and it looks beautiful. Ooh. You can serve it with um, elbow macaroni or sure, sure. Um, then make it more of a whole meal. Oh. And, but you can see because we've cooked that, the, the oh, I can smell the cloves in there. Mm -hmm. That really, um, you know, mm -hmm. that tenderizes the, the venison and, yeah. and I, I don't smell anything gamey at all. No, not A little no. sour cream. Just a little sour cream on top. Maybe a little shredded cheddar yeah, cheese. Some cheese. Mm. For people at home, um, first of all, we'll put this recipe uh, on our website. Just look under reindeer chili. No, it's not reindeer. It's just a, <laughs> a fun name for it. Um, but if you want to find out more about the Weiler Academy, maybe you've always wanted to do one of those, get into one of those flotation pods. Uh, talk about, for people who have trouble sleeping, talk about getting the most restful sleep you've ever had in your life. I just, I just talked to somebody who just did one of those oh, pods, yeah. and uh, they said, I've never slept better. But it's a great way to really get into a relaxation state. Um, mm -hmm. You do wonderful exercise classes. Yes, and we just started the Smart Fit Up again, and it's so awesome. It's a $10 class, which is great. So you can come in for $10, and then you also get free sauna and free oxygen bar free Biomat, which is really cool. It's all relaxation things after your training. That's wonderful. They also so. do some great, you know, facials, things mm -hmm. like that. So it's just a very unique place. Um, and they're with you, uh, you know, the whole way, the whole journey. So that's it's true. not like you just are a member of a club and you're like, you're on your own. Yeah. Uh, that's not what it's all about. No. And that's why that class is called Smart Fit, because we're teaching your muscles how to move correctly. So you learn and your brain remembers how to move. So we're retraining the muscles and the brain to work as one. So it, you, you work better and you don't have pain, which right. is great. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for something new, you've tried everything, you just want to get healthy overall, uh, really, I, I advise you to stop in, see what they're all about. They're lovely people and they know their stuff. And you can just stop in and take a tour and yeah. kind of get a feel for the mm -hmm. place. So yeah. um, beautiful location right on the Fox River uh, in Alloway there. And yeah. of course, some information online as well. Oh, yes, WeilerAcademy.com. Carlin, always a pleasure to see you, and we love your recipes. Um, it's it's unique and different, and yeah, why not try and put some cloves in that chili, <laughs> especially if you're cooking with venison, yeah. and sweeten it up a little bit, That's too. Right. So thanks so much. Thank Please you.